Who's taking that sand out of this? Let's go. Who's taking that sand out of this? <laughs> Derek Lunsford and Samson Dowd are posing down 19 weeks out of a 2023 Mr. Olympia. Who wins? Is this better than Pittsburgh Pro Guest posing? Yes. What's up, desktopers? Xavier Wills here for Desktop Bodybuilding, and we are back for another video. And right after recording that sexy intro for this video, we had some new HD footage come out of Samson Dowd and Derek Lunsford posing down in the gym 19 weeks out of a 2023 Mr. Olympia. And we're gonna review that footage as opposed to the footage we saw go up in the live stream. So there's no funny business going on. There's no video editing. This is HD footage and you guys get to see it here. First, well, on the Mr. Olympia Instagram page first, but this was only posted five or six or so hours ago. And these guys looked phenomenal and you can see it even better in this HD footage. So we're gonna go pose for pose and break down who actually won this battle. Now, two thirds of the fans had Derek Lunsford winning this battle at 19 weeks out of the Olympia, but the fans might even have a different perspective on this front on footage because the first lot of footage we did see, it was actually sort of advantage to Derek Lunsford. The angle was from the side slightly where Derek sort of had that little bit of an upper hand, but was it closer? Let's have a look. So as these guys head into their front double bicep with HD footage, now Derek Lunsford has one of the best, if not the best front double bicep on the planet right now. The structure, the silhouette is just out of this world. Now, when Samson hits that front double bicep, one thing I'd love to see Samson do is drop those hips back a little bit and lead with the chest as opposed to sort of arching the back and putting the midsection forward a little bit. But Samson has closed the gap a bit on that pose, in my opinion. And honestly, Samson's front double bicep went from being a weaker pose, I'd say, to being sort of like... Ma not matching with Derek Lunsford, but getting right up there. He looks really, really good on this one. But Derek Lunsford has the conditioning edge, I'd say, this far out of the Olympia. But Samson Dowder does get details through his chest a little bit more than a Derek Lunsford. He has a thicker chest than Derek Lunsford, as you can see on this pose. Now, they both do have the issue with the biceps where they don't get ultra conditioned in that front double bicep. But I have to give that one to Derek Lunsford, partly because of conditioning and partly because it is the best front double on the planet, maybe him or Andrew Jacked. Now, as they head into the front lat spread, now this one is dramatically closer in my opinion. Now, Samson has really improved that front lat spread, but I'd still have to give this one to Derek, but Samson's front lat spread was his weakest pose by far because he's such a big guy, has such a big structure that it was a lot to fill out. And he's starting to fill that out now. So very, very impressive from Samson Dowder, although I still give that front lat spread to Derek Lunsford, but on stage, if that chest conditioning isn't there and Samson chest is, you know, shredded up and really, really full, Samson could challenge him on that shot. So we have two poses to zero right now. As we head into that side chest, I've got to give that one to Samson Dowda. So we're at two poses to one right now. Samson is too thick. The chest is huge. And he sort of dominates that one a little bit, I'd say, although Derek's side leg has definitely improved as well. So I think Derek has made some improvements in that side leg. So we've got two poses to one now advantage Derek Lunds. So let's see if the fans are actually right. Now, as they head into this back double bicep, you can see how Samson just has that round bubbly muscle, but Derek Lunsford, in my opinion, has the best back double bicep bar none in the IFB Pro League right now. And you can see it on his post. It's absolutely ridiculous. And his traps have even got thicker as well uh, that run down his back. So Derek Lunsford, in my opinion, with ease on that back double bicep. Now in the rear lat spread, Samson has closed that gap dramatically. Now, Samson might be closer to the camera here or a little bit, but still, he's improved a huge amount in that back, and that's what Samson had to do. That's what everyone said. I mean, Terrick Gindy on the Mr. Olympia channel has said Samson needs to improve the back, and if he can do that, he's a chance of winning the Mr. Olympia, and he has definitely closed the gap. So I'd have Derek on a real lat spread, but it's not by as much as I thought it actually would be when they hit that. So... Right now, I do have it four poses to one to Derek Lunsford. Now, in the side tricep, I give that one to Samson Dowder because when he hits that side tricep and then when he turns to the front a little bit, locks out that quad when he hits that sort of front to side side tricep, Samson is just so impressive. So right now, four poses to two to Derek Lunsford. And in this footage, we don't actually have the ab shot. 
So we have to sort of refer back to this one and basically refer back to what we sort of remember as well and what we can sort of assume because the lighting is a little bit off here, very little bit shadowed, but I would have Samson winning the ab pose. So it's four poses to three to Derek Lunsford. It comes down to the most muscular. Will it be a tie or will I have it five poses to three to Derek Lunsford? Let's have a look on this one. I've got to narrowly give it to Derek Lunsford, but this one is a little bit closer, but I think Derek is too balanced. Samson sort of has those longer arms, so Samson, he's 327 pounds here. He just recently guest posed. Maybe Samson needs to be 335 or 340 to be winning this most muscular. I don't know, but on stage, this might be a different thing as well because Derek doesn't get ultra shredded through that chest, and I think Samson might be able to beat him there. So this could be a very, very close battle at the Mr. Olympia. And let's break down a little bit how I think they might actually improve as well before that Mr. Olympia. So who's improved the most and who will improve the most from here to the Mr. Olympia? Now, conditioning wise, I'd say Derek has the slight edge at this point, 19 weeks out of a Mr. Olympia, but that doesn't matter. They're both in great condition for 19 weeks out. So that's really irrelevant at this point. It might just make Derek look a little bit better, but Samson made huge, huge improvements from his sixth place finish at Mr. Olympia in 2022 to that Arnold Classic victory. So with those huge improvements in well under six months, and he's got longer than that, I believe, from the Arnold Classic to the Olympia, are those improvements going to supersede what Derek Lunsford is able to do in one year off? Now, Derek Lunsford bypassed that Arnold Classic where he potentially could have got him there, won that title, won $200,000 US. He decided to miss that to focus on the 2023 Mr. Olympia. And anything short of a Mr. Olympia win for Derek in 2023, based off skipping that Arnold Classic, will sort of be seen as somewhat of a loss. But I think Derek has a very good chance at winning that Mr. Olympia. Now, who will improve the most from last year's Olympia to next year's? I think both guys are going to make tremendous improvements. I think Samson will make the bigger improvements, and he has to make the bigger improvements too if he's going to have any chance of beating Derek Lunsford because he's going from sixth, and he needs to move up to first, or maybe second to beat Derek Lunsford because we don't know if Hardy Chupin or Nick Walker or Brandon Curry could come in better condition or Big Rami could make a return with stem cell treatment or even an Andrew Jack, who looked really good at that Arnold Classic as well. There's so many guys that can win this Mr. Olympia. So Samson needs to make the bigger improvements because Derek Lunsford was second last year at that 2022 Mr. Olympia, being compared with Hardy Chupin pretty close as well. So Samson needs to make the bigger improvements. I think Samson will make the bigger improvements, but will they be enough? I'm not so sure at this point, but I think it's going to be a close battle. Who do I have winning out of these two at the 2023 Mr. Olympia? I have gone on record as saying I think Derek Lunsford could definitely win it. I think that Samson Dowder could win it. And I really don't know, but if I had to put my life on the line, I'd say Derek Lunsford. I'd say he's the safe bet. He's had the whole year off. And had we actually seen Derek Lunsford do that Arnold Classic, I might be saying Derek Lunsford is the clear favorite for that 2023 Mr. Olympia, or at least between Samson and Derek. So I'm going to say Derek Lunsford, but with much hesitancy because Samson Dowder is that good. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have enjoyed it, give the video a thumbs up, smash that like button, also subscribe and hit the notification bell button. And let me know in the comments, who do you have winning at the 2023 Mr. Olympia between Samson Dowder and Derek Lunsford? Anyway, guys, that's it for me. I'm Xavier Wills. This is Desktop Bodybuilding, and we are out.